Hi everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today's video is going to be part two of reacting to my subscribers' guinea pig and rabbit enclosures. Thank you guys so much for sending me even more of these so that I can review your cages. I love getting to see your guys' setups. So without further ado, I am going to stop talking and we are going to jump right into the cages. All right, the very first enclosure we have up this time is from a brand new piggy family. So this cage houses two guinea pigs named Sunny and Silver. They are both female piggies and they said they just adopted their girls on the 3rd of April. So they are brand new to owning piggies and they did get them from a local rescue. This cage looks really great. It is almost a two by six, I was told. And I mean, you can see in the picture, this is a great size for two piggies. I really like these new style of grids that there are available, so that looks great. And it looks like you have everything needed in the cage. I see food dishes, water bottle, plenty of hay over in the corner. I like that you're using fleece and it looks like you're using it correctly. Plenty of hideys and comfy beds. And I do really, really like the overhangs on either end of the cage. I find that piggies really, really like to use that as a hide. So that is a great touch. So overall, really great job. And also I really like the storage underneath the cage. So great job for being a brand new piggy family. All right, next we have a neat DIY cage. So this enclosure houses four guinea pigs named Tilly, Bluebell, Carrie, and Rocket. This cage is 124 centimeters by 194 centimeters, which ends up equaling out about a three and a half by five and a half CNC cage. So this is a pretty good size for four piggies. It looks really cool. I like the little ramp and upstairs area that's really neat it's nice that it has the cover on it i don't know if you have that because you have other pets or just to be safe but that's a nice touch it looks really nice it looks nice and safe it looks like they have everything they need there's a litter box with hay there are food dishes i see water dishes um, I can't tell from the picture, but the only thing that I would say is I usually like to have one water bottle per guinea pig in the cage just to avoid fighting, but that kind of depends on your guinea pigs. Overall though, I don't see any issues with this cage. I would maybe add a couple more hideys in the middle, but with the covered area on the one end, that's not really a big deal. Um, for guinea pigs, generally a fight over the best spots anyways, so... It, it seems to be a pretty good setup. I would also say maybe add more hay racks with four piggies and just one small litter box with hay in it. They can tend to not eat as much hay that way. So I would maybe put hay, hay boxes or hay racks in multiple spots around the cage just so that anyone can access it at any time because you don't want them fighting over hay spots. But other than that, things look pretty good. And again, really good job on building your own cage and being creative with that. It came out really, really nice. The next cage is from Kira, I believe, from Kira's Animals on YouTube. Anybody that has a channel will be linked down below, just like I did last time, so you guys can check out their channels if you want to see more of their piggies. So this cage is two Midwest cages put together, and it houses two guinea pigs, Cleo and Gina. They are just babies right now, which is adorable. But it looks like this cage has everything it needs. Two Midwest cages is a good size for two pigs, especially if they're babies. They look so little in there, but they have everything they need. You can see they are eating their veggies in this picture. They have their pellet dish. They have plenty of hay in their hay rack litter box. They've got plenty of hideys and a nice little corner that's covered for them to hide in. And then they do have a water dish and a water bottle, which is a nice touch. A lot of people think that it's more natural for them to drink out of a water dish, so it's nice to offer that. So I think you have a pretty good setup here. It looks like you're using fleece correctly. Again, they have plenty of hides. This looks like a really nice and enriching cage for your piggies. Next up, we have Abby from Little Paws. So her YouTube channel will be linked down below. She has four female guinea pigs named Clover, Rosie, Skipper, and Alice. 
And you can see she has a really nice cage set up here. It is a 5x5 five five CNC cage. She said she uses towels as her absorbent layer and fleece as her bedding. And she is working on finding a bigger litter box. So to look at this cage, it looks really, really great. You're using fleece correctly, plenty of Heidi's, you have plenty of hay. There's two water bottles. I think I said in the last cage reaction that I really like the teal tunnel that you have and I'm impressed that your pigs don't just roll around in it because mine would for sure roll around in it. But this cage looks really great. I like that you have a variety of different types of hides and places for them to hang out and sleep, especially the microfiber rug because piggies really, really seem to love those. As for the trying to find a bigger litter box, you could maybe try like getting a low storage bin and cutting a hole in the front of it or you could get a low front rabbit litter box i have one that's got like a really low easy entrance front and i think they're supposed to be for like older cats but they work really well and they're nice and big and they would fit multiple piggies at once so that is an idea but overall your cage looks really good i really really like your pink theme in these pictures and your piggies look like they have a nice happy life here we have a piggy cage from London, which is exciting to have subscribers in other countries. This is the cage for Patch and Luna, which is adorable because I used to have a guinea pig named Luna. So they have a 2x4 CNC with a loft, and then they do have an attached run, which you'll see in the next picture that they are allowed out into whenever their humans are home. So they have a really nice setup here. I like the little loft area. The ramp doesn't look too steep. It looks nice. The fleece forest looks nice. Piggies always tend to love those. I can see you have water bottles and you said you had two water bottles so that's great. And you can see back there there is hay if you look in the picture but she also said they have two hay boxes under the loft area. So that is great as well. Plenty of hay for two piggies. This looks really great. I really like that you covered the loft just because I feel like piggies tend to use areas more when they're covered. So that was a good idea and it still looks really nice when you did that. I also love that you have kind of like an attached playtime area because piggies love to get out and explore and I'm sure you see some more popcorns with all that extra space. So I don't think I have any suggestions for this cage. It looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I'll say, and it's not because I think that you don't have this, it's just something I like to remind everyone that has a loft, just make sure that it's really well supported and that pieces aren't coming apart because CNC grids can tend to kind of come apart over time when they're in a loft, just because piggies tend to jump and run up and down the ramps. So just something to keep in mind, but again, your cage looks great. And I think I spy a pig top in there from Piggy Pig Pigs, maybe. So that is adorable as well. I love her stuff. So this looks great. And I love that you also have that little chair there to watch your piggy. So great job. Next up, we have a cage from Peyton. And I'm kind of excited about this one because I like seeing your guys' CNC cages. But I also really like to show some DIY cages so that people can get some ideas on what they can do. So this looks like a neat DIY cage made out of wood, I believe. So this enclosure is roughly 14 square feet and is home to two female guinea pigs. So that is great. So looking at these pictures here, there are two water bottles, a food dish, of course. I can see a nice big litter box with hay. There are Heidi's. I like the covered areas in the corners. That's just a great idea for Heidi's. Kind of like DIY fleece forests there. And it looks like you're using fleece correctly. I can't really tell, obviously, if people are using absorbent layers correctly, but it looks like there are pads in the most commonly used areas, so that is great. I am impressed if you found a hamster tube that's big enough for guinea pigs. So as your guinea pigs grow, I would just make sure that they can't get stuck in that. But other than that, your cage looks great. She did mention that there are plants all around, but the guinea pigs do not have access to any of them. So that's good to note just because I know somebody's going to ask. But this cage looks pretty good. I don't really have anything that I would change or add. I would maybe add another tunnel or kind of... A, a tunnel or a hidey just in the middle to kind of give them a 
place to go in the middle of their cage so they don't have to run to one side or the other but that's really just me being particular and nitpicking because really it looks pretty good especially you have two of everything for two piggies so that is great so good job next we have the cages from little kingdom so this is actually three cages so you can see there's one for angel one for willow and ginger and one for wrangler so I like that you use your space so that you could have the two cages next to each other since I think Angel is by herself and Wrangler is by himself. Um, so they can still see and talk to the guinea pigs in the middle. So that was a good idea. I like that you have a 3x3 three three for the pair. That is a good size. And they do also have a loft. I like how you put the loft over in the corner above the other cage. It gives a nice hiding area for Angel and it gives a little bit extra space for the pair. So that was a good idea. Literally the only things that I would comment on are the ramp is a little bit steep it looks like but that can kind of just depend on what your piggies are comfortable with. My piggies tend to not like to go up steeper ramps and I would just keep an eye on their feet because sometimes they can get like rug burn on the bottom of their feet if their ramp is too steep. So just keep an eye out for that. Other than that, I would maybe add one more water bottle for the pair, but that's really just my personal opinion is to have one water bottle per pig. I've mentioned it multiple times, so that's really just my personal preference, but they all have hay, they all have water, they all have pellets, they have plenty of space. I'm sure you know that it's better to have pairs of piggies and sometimes pairs just don't work out. So I like that you were able to give them the walls with the other pigs so that they can get some interaction and hear the other pigs as well. So overall there's nothing I would really change about this other than maybe keep an eye on the ramp but overall good job. All right and the last cage for this video is from the two little piggies on Instagram. They sent their cage in for the last video and they have made a lot of changes so they wanted to send it in again and even since the pictures they sent me they've changed it up so that is one of my favorite things about cnc cages is you can constantly be rearranging and changing things and it keeps things interesting for your pets so these cages let's just take a look so they look really good obviously there's plenty of space i believe there's two guinea pigs that live in here gary and john and they have quite a bit of space in this cage. There are two actual hay racks that have good quality hay in them. And then there are two other litter boxes that have hay, which are more for burrowing. And they have a little bit less good quality of hay. But I really like your, what looks like DIY hay racks. One looks like a big tube that has um, holes cut in it if I'm looking at that correctly so that's a really good idea and then the one made out of CNC grids kind of in the v-shape that's a really good idea as well I've done that for the bunnies so that's a great way to keep your hay up off the floor they have multiple water bottles I think and they have a area that has fleece and an area that has bedding so that's a good idea I like your picture of the bedding that's split diagonally I know that's only going to last a short amount of time, but that looks really nice. Um, the only thing I would say is maybe add a couple of Heidi's kind of off to the corner area where there's like the little foraging toy. I would maybe add like a tunnel in the middle of that just to give them a little bit more security when they're walking through. But overall, this looks really good. I like that you have things covered on the wall so the pigs can't access it and it looks pretty good it looks like a good cage with everything they need they have some chew toys they have hides and they have nice soft places to sleep this also was the cage that i showed in the previous video that had a big like floor time area so that is great as well i, di I didn't include the pictures in this video but these pigs also have a big floor time area so this is a great cage plenty of space and it looks like you're doing a lot to constantly keep things interesting and how your piggies like it so great job all right guys, so that is it for this cage reaction video. Let me know if you guys want me to do a part three of this, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.